Hey guys, Tristan here from the CPAPstore.ca. Today we're looking at the ResMed AirFit F10. That's right, the F10 is a legacy mask, but not everyone knows that. There's a lot of people going on our website, seeing the F10, seeing the F20, seeing the F30, not knowing the difference between the two. So the F10 is one of the older ResMed masks that are still being sold today. And they're basically the first version of what we see now of the F20. So the F20 is the newer version of the F10. The headgear is actually a really nice material. You can kind of see it has this little circular pattern. I would actually say that the headgear of the F10 is a nicer quality than on the F20. On the F20, um, you can see the foam in the sides. It's still lightweight, it's still nice. In terms of performance, they have the same amount of stretch, the same amount of squish, but it does look like when you're looking at an F10, you're like, oh wow, this is, a much nicer headgear quality. It feels almost like there's a little bit of gel in there or something like that. On the front here, we connect to the cushion in the front of the mask. This is where things are quite a bit different. On the side here, you can see you have easily removable headgear clips. Uh, every time you clean it or whatever, you can actually just slip it out like that, which is really nice. In the front here is where we see one of the biggest differences is that it uses these hooks here instead of using magnets. The ResMed F20 has magnets super easy to click. F10 has these hooks. And once you have the headgear on and the he there's a tension, there's enough tension on the hook for it not to like unclip or anything. So you don't have to really worry about that but getting the headgear on and off is actually a lot more tricky. With the F20, I find, you know, putting the mask on and just clicking the magnets side to side is very easy. Whereas with the F10, especially at a higher pressure, you're gonna need a little more, um, little tighter straps. I find that you kind of have to start with this, just have one uh, strap dangling, put it on, which is a little tricky. And then you put your last uh, strap on, on the hook like here. And it's very easy to twist the side and stuff like that. Um, even when I'm putting it on, sometimes it feels totally fine. And then I realize the side is twisted or, or something like that. So that is one con that I don't really like with the F10. That being said, it is a pro with the F10 and that's why they are still selling it. One of the reasons is because most pacemakers are gonna be okay with the magnets, but there are certain styles of pacemakers or um, different types of medical appliances that you can't have any magnet. Uh, around your person and so having the hooks is a great way for ResMed to s keep in that kind of pacemaker market and still allow them to have a great mask without magnets. Then the front here is the tube quick connect. So you still have that nice quick connect that we see on the F20. The difference here is, is you don't have the uh, quiet air. So the F20 has a quiet air filter or diffusers. And when you're wearing this mask and even at a 15 pressure or higher pressure, you don't really feel that much wind at the front of the mask. Uh, whereas with the F10, you do definitely feel wind coming out of the front of the mask. I measured it with an anometer like this and it got 2.68 meters per second, which is around kind of the middle range of CPAP mask at a 15 pressure. If you look on Google, you're probably not gonna see a lot of people complaining about it because it's not like a huge amount of wind, but it is there compared to the uh, F20. Okay, next we can talk about the cushion itself. So the cushion is actually a little bit, I would say harder than the F20. The F20 has a lot of squish right here amongst the whole front of the cushion. It's very squishy. This is the air touch here with the uh, memory foam. You can get the air fit with, that, with just the silicone. But the F10 has a little more structure there. It is a double layer seal, but you have the, the nice soft layer and then a little harder layer. And it's kind of like right there, there's no give. Um, so compared to masks like the F20 or something like a Viterra with a lot of give, um, the F10 definitely has the least amount of give there. With that structured type of cushion though, I do feel that when you have this at a high pressure um, and strap down, if it fits your face well, and it's not uncomfortable, it actually holds a leak quite well. Um, and I think that's mainly because, because the F10 came out like 15 years ago, people 15 years ago, that were using CPAP or typically had higher pressures. Whereas now that CPAPs are becoming more commonplace, younger people who have sleep apnea are using uh, CPAP machines. I think that we're seeing a, a kind of a shift towards more minimal and more softer masks. Whereas back in the day, all the masks that were being sold were like a lot more hardcore, had a lot more straps going on. The F10 for me does actually seal quite well if I'm gonna be using a high pressure. Now, the last thing I'd like to note is the F10 cushion fits a little bit different than the F20. I find that it's a little bit shorter and not as tall and a little bit wider. So for those with more of a flatter face, it actually might be a better fitting cushion for you. So the tube connection on the F20 has a kind of a ball joint. So there's a little bit of a hinge mechanism there as well as a 360 swivel and then the swivel down below here. So this 360 swivel is very um, gentle or, or very easy to spin like this. 
as you can see, spins very nicely. And that's gonna allow you to have the best freedom of movement when you're wearing the mask and you have the mask connected to your tube. Whereas the F10 uh, doesn't have any back and forth nature. It still has a 360 swivel, but it's a lot stiffer. Like if I just hit it with my finger, it doesn't really move very much. So the F10, final thoughts. I think in 2024, it's still a great mask. It's still a good fitting mask, still a good ceiling mask. And there are people that are gonna want the F10. Now, if you're new to CPAP and you don't have a pacemaker or whatever, there's no reason for you to get an F10. It's just mainly, for the most part, a worse version of the F20. The, the ball joint's not as good, mainly the quiet air. It doesn't have the quiet air, so it blows air more in your face. Um, and it's a little more harder to put the headgear on and off with the hooks and all that jazz. But for those people who have maybe a flatter face or perhaps they have a medical appliance where they can't have magnets, the F10 is still a really, really good option for those patients. When you put it on, when you try it, you don't feel like, oh my God, like I got some legacy mask. This thing feels so old, so out of touch. When you put it on, it feels like any other modern mask. It's still a great mask, just doesn't have some of the more modern features of uh, the newer mask, okay? So that's it for the F10. Uh, give a thumbs up if you like this video. I try to be as honest as possible in all of these videos. Uh, if you find them helpful, uh, subscribe and see our other content. Take care, guys.